We're actually going to start with a review of Star Trek Picard. We're going to start spoiler-free. So what that means is we're not going to divulge any important details that actually happen during this particular episode. Um, we're just going to focus on general impressions of the show. Uh, we might discuss something that obviously was in the trailers, but we're not going to give away any major spoilers during this portion of the show. Um, please, commenters, please come in, chime in, tell us what you thought of the particular episode as well. We were dying to hear your opinion. Um, but please avoid any spoilers until we enter the spoiler portion. When we enter the spoiler portion, you'll see the word spoilers coming across the bottom, or you'll see me in this weird mask say, hey, we're going to do spoilers now. But uh, please refrain from spoilers until that point. All right, so we're going to start off by talking about this episode. This is Star Trek Picard. It's uh, Et in Arcadia Ego Part 1. I'm not sure even how to pronounce that, to be honest. Uh, I'm not even sure what it's referencing. <laughs> so... Um, to me, this is just uh, episode nine of the first season of Picard. So tell me, Erica, what were your general impressions of this this uh, almost finale episode of Star Trek Picard? Wait a second. It's it's at in Arcadia. I thought it was E.T. in Arcadia. E. So I guess I, I, I guess I totally screwed it up there. I no. don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it is. That's just a stupid joke. That's just a stupid okay. joke. I think these. OK. Right off the bat, I think these titles are getting very, very pretentious. Okay, very, very pretentious. And that's kind of what the show has become in a lot of ways to me. Um, this particular episode, um, I don't know exactly how I feel about it. Um, I feel like my, my constant criticism is still kind of there. there there's an unequal pacing uh, to this show. And there are spots in it where I'm just all like, can we just do something? Can we just go somewhere? Can we just do something and stop talking, please? Because it seems so unnecessary. And I don't really like hearing your voices at this point. And can we just move on with the story? Um, and then, of course, you know, this particular episode was not very heavy on, on any action of any kind. Uh, it was heavy on drama. Um, there were some dramatic moments. Uh, absolutely, there were some dramatic moments, but some of the other moments, I think, kind of messed those dramatic moments up uh, because they were just kind of silly to me. <laughs> Katie says, so many Latin titles, Siobhan. Yes, because he's a Pulitzer Prize winning author, right? And he needs us all to know that. He needs us to know he's a, hey, he's a Pulitzer Prize winning author, you know? So he's got he's to show his chops, right? Even though, again, we have some pretty cringeworthy dialogue in this episode. And that's also another constant criticism I have is, yes, we have a Pulitzer Prize winning author who is the showrunner of this show and one of the writers on this show. And yet we still have incredibly cheesy dialogue um, and, and, and things that just don't make any logical sense. Uh, once again, I did watch The Ready Room, uh, which I have to say I don't have anything against Will Wheaton personally. I've met him a couple times. He was nice to me, but he is starting to get on my nerves. Okay. And as, and, and as much as I'm kind of looking forward to the end of Star Trek Picard, I'm kind of looking forward to the end of the ready room as well. But he did interview uh, the actress who played uh, Soji, who played Soji Daj. Um, and um, it was kind of interesting. She said something that I'm going to get into uh, a touch upon in the deep dive. That again, that's one of the reasons I watch The Ready Room is because you get these little kernels of truth and these little interesting tidbits. Uh, it's almost like they let things slip and you're almost all like, how did nobody catch that? I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some people, you know, in in the uh, the Star Trek Picard production offices that kind of realize there's some problems here. So they kind of just let it slide for those of us that kind of can know. Yeah. Yeah. There are issues here. There, there, are, there are logical issues here. Um, so again, I feel like the show is a little uneven. Uh, the pacing was my biggest problem. Again, I, I had some moments where I was all like, can we just get on with it already? Uh, you guys are kind of just talking too much and I don't feel like this is going anywhere. Let's get somewhere. And then the other side of it is we have things that happen. Like there's kind of a, a sort of a bombshell moment early in this episode and they just gloss right over it and nobody seems to care and they don't make a big deal about it, even though it's a big deal to the fans. Um, and it's a big moment on screen. They act like it's just, okay, so this is just a thing now and we're just moving on. Um, so 
that's kind of where I'm at uh, with Star Trek Picard. What about you, Dave? Um, so I just want to start by saying, yes, James, you did make it. Um, so um, how do I how do I put into words my initial impressions? Um, I am ready for the finale. How's that? Um, I, you know, I, I really wanted to like this show. Um, yeah, yes, James, I, I, I mentioned earlier, um, someone said that I need to be wearing a mask. I think I'm doing this wrong, but uh, they said I needed to protect myself. So I assumed my identity, but then I, I introduced myself at the beginning. So it's kind of pointless and stupid, but, but I'm going to continue to wear the mask because I do feel more protected with it on. Um, so that joke is going to get so old. Anyhow, um, so... <laughs> David, I, I, I you're just, not I'm, doing it, you're, David. You're not doing it any worse than the people that I saw in the supermarket today. So. Oh, okay, all right. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, so no, I mean, I, you know, I want to like this show. I, I really do. I was kind of looking forward to the reveal in this this particular episode. Obviously, we're not in spoilers, so let's not get into that just yet. I was looking forward to the reveal. Um, they kind of did a few things I kind of expected. They did a few things I did not. Um, but um, overall, uh, my general impression is I, I'm ready to get to the finale. Um, and I'm ready to just, I hate to say this, I'm, 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 I'm ready to be done with this show. Um, I just am. I, I, have to, I have to say this. I kind of wonder, you know, like what exactly is going to happen in the next episode that we couldn't have had in this episode? Like, like w w you know, it just seemed to me like we could have just wrapped everything up in this episode, and I don't feel like we're going to get anything bigger or any big, huge reveal in the next one. You know, it, 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 they could, they could obviously, I could be wrong, but that's my feeling. Is my feeling is like whatever they're going to do in the next episode, it's going to be like, why didn't you just do that in the last episode? Because it would have made this episode so much better. Because to me, this episode. Uh, felt like a lot of of filler. Th there were some relevant things that happened to advance the story, but a lot of it felt like filler, and it felt like we're just kind of waiting for the actual good stuff to happen. You know right. what I mean? Right. No. So, yeah. I mean, and and yeah, and it's just one of those things. I I I, I was looking forward to this, and it was a like I said, it was a couple moments I genuinely liked. Um, but then overall, I, I just, um, I, I just, I, I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I will say it again. I will say it again. And I know it's controversial, but I'm going to go ahead and say it again. Season two of Star Trek Discovery is a better show than Picard. <laughs> In my opinion, just telling you right now, just telling you right now it is it is a better, I like, I just, I, I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there. So. By the way, we do have another comment uh, related to the mask. He said, uh, it, it says, uh, I saw someone using a jock strap as a mask at my local stop and shop. <laughs> so I, I think I, you're doing I, a little bit better than they are. Yeah, I was going to say, that's also qu clearly not doing it right. Um, <laughs> so, that, so in all honesty, Eric, that's all I've got to say about this episode. I, yeah, I, just, it, I didn't it's, care It's hard it. to say much about it because it's just like, in a lot of ways, I'm kind of very ho-hum about the episode. Um, again, you know... It's kind of actually a good segue, I think, into spoilers. It's like we have a very big moment in this in this episode, and they treated it like nothing. They didn't treat it with any fanfare. Nobody was like, oh, oh my God. You know what I mean? Even right. though I'm sure there were right. fans that were like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? What's that? And then everybody else just kind of like, oh, you know, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. 